بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني يا أكرم الأكرمين My topic today is about continuation of the abnormalities of the secondary pulmonary lobule Today I will discuss the what is left by the attenuation pattern. I will discuss here today about the low attenuation pattern, including emphysema, lung cyst, and bronchiectasis, and honeycombing. I will discuss it with interstitial pulmonary fibrosis later. Here you see some bronchiectatic changes are seen here in the part of secondary pulmonary lobule with cystic changes with varicose and with wall thickening and here we see the lung cyst and here we see the honeycombing and here we see the some of the emphysema plus changes centrally lobular emphysema, band lobular emphysema, and baroreceptor emphysema. Here again, we have the honeycombing with bronchiectatic changes and lung cyst, as you see with wall and emphysematous changes, centrally lobular emphysematous changes. What is emphysema? Emphysema is typically presents as areas of low attenuation without visible walls as a result of parenchymal dist destruction. We have three types of emphysema, centrilobular emphysema, bandlobular emphysema, and baroreceptor emphysema. And we have the fourth type, sick, sick, the arterial emphysema due to associated with fibrosis. Here, the first type, it is centrilobular emphysema. It is most common type. It is irreversible destruction of the alveolar wall of the secondary pulmonary lobule, and it is above lobe dominant and strongly associated with smoking. As we you see here, it is aware, spare the lower surfaces, and we have the centrally lobular lobule and multiple small cystic changes inside the secondary pulmonary lobule. Sometimes you see dot inside the centrally lobular emphysema. Banlobular emphysema, it is affect the whole of secondary lobule and it is lower lobe dominant and it is associated with alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. Sometimes it is associated with smoking, especially in advanced cases. Here we see the secondary lobule, secondary pulmonary lobule, it is totally replaced by low attenuating area. It is indicating the parenchymal destruction. Baroreceptor emphysema, it is adjacent to the blower and the interloba fissure, can be isolated in young adults or older patient with centrilobular emphysema. In young adults, it is associated with spontaneous pneumothorax. And here you see it adjacent to the blower multiple low attenuated area seen, associated here with centrilobular emphysema. And here it is, it is on the blower surfaces and it is on the mediastinal surfaces, and some centrilobular emphysema test changes are seen in the upper lobe. What is the difference between 
Baraceptal emphysema and honey combing. Uh, Baraceptal emphysema, it is only single layer. Honey combing, it is multiple layer. It is predominantly Baraceptal emphysema in the upper lobes. In the honey combing, it is in the lung bases. It is not associated with pulmonary fibrosis. It here honey combing, it is associated with pulmonary fibrosis. And here it is associated, baroceptal emphysema associated with other types of emphysema. And here in honey combing cyst, it is usually not associated with other types of emphysema. I will discuss the honey combing cyst and the topic of interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. The second low attenuation, it is cystic lung disease. Lung cysts are defined radiolucent areas or low attenuated area with a wall thickness less than 4 mm. And here we have some example of cystic lung disease, lymphangiomyomatosis, lung of hands histocytosis, LIB, lymphocytic interstitial pneumonia. What is cavity? Cavity it is a radiolucent area with a wall thickness more than 4 mm. Seen in infection like TB, staph, fungal, or septic emboli, or sometimes of in vasculitis or in a tumor. What is bully? It is air filled cyst measuring about more than 1 cm and giant bully, it is occupies at least 30% of the volume of the thorax. A blip, it is air-filled cystic structure less than one centimeter. A rupture causes spontaneous pneumothorax. Pneumatocele, it is air-filled cyst, a brier lung trauma or infection. Here, you see multiple lung cysts. It is irregular, involving the upper lobe associated with um, centrilobular lobule, and this is a patient with lung of hands histocytosis. Here, this is another patient with lymphangiomyomatosis. Um, you see multiple lung cysts, the wall it is less than the lung of hand cyst, and it is more on the lower lobes, and this is associated with a right-sided in your motorax. Bronchiectasis, it is defined as localized bronchial dilatation. What are the radiological signs of bronchiectasis? Bronchial dilatation, giving the appearance of signet ring sign. Bronchial wall thickening, lack of normal tapering or with visibility of the airways in the peripheral lung, mucus retention associated sometimes with air trapping. Let us see these radiological signs. Here you see the signet ring sign. You see the dilatation in the bronchial wall. It is dilated more than the central arteriole and giving the rise of signet ring appearance. And here you see the dilatation of the uh, of the bronchial wall oh, and with lack of tapering. Sometimes it is associated with air driving in that, as in this area. Sometimes the, there is bilateral, uh, there is a mucoid impaction in the dilated uh, bronchiole due to obstruction, as we see here, and we see here and some air driving. C. Cataract emphysema. It is a regular emphysema associated in the usually associated with uh, fibrosis.
Thank you very much. Hoping this will help you in daily practice.